Hi everyone, it's Jenna. This help video will go through the first practice problem in the Try It First activity. I'm actually going to go through two different ways to solve this problem. The first method I'm going to walk you through involves adding 12x to both sides. This says to solve for x and show the solution in interval notation. We have negative 6 minus the quantity of 2x minus 8 is less than or equal to negative 3 times the quantity of 6 plus 4x. Just like we saw in our equations unit, each side of an inequality is also its own expression. So I can focus on one side at a time and use my simplifying strategies like distribution and combining like terms. On the left, I do have distribution. Even though we can't see any number in front of this parenthesis, we can imagine putting a one here to help see that what we need to do is distribute this negative one. Since I'm not doing anything with the negative six, I'm gonna bring that down right away. Then negative one times two x makes negative two x and negative one times negative eight makes positive eight. Now I have two constant terms, so I can combine those. It's important to include the operation before the constant to see that I have a negative six and a positive eight. That makes positive two, and I'll bring down my minus two x, so fully simplified, the left side makes two minus two x. Next, I can move on to the right side of my inequality, where my distribution looks a little more straightforward. Negative three times six makes negative 18, and negative three times four x makes negative 12 x. I'm gonna be sure to write that same inequality sign again, so less than or equal to. Since I have variables on both sides of my inequality, I need to cancel one of these terms to bring them together. It doesn't matter whether I choose to cancel the negative two x on the left or the negative 12 x on the right because both will work. In this first method, I'm going to cancel the negative 12x because canceling the smaller term will help to avoid negative coefficients. Since this is a negative 12x, I'm going to need to add 12x on both sides to cancel it out. Negative 12x plus 12x cancels out, leaving just negative 18 on the right. On the left, negative 2x plus 12x makes positive 10x and I'll bring down everybody else. Now I'm going to subtract two from both sides to get it away from the side with the x. This leaves me with 10x is less than or equal to negative 20. I'm gonna move my problem up here to give myself a little more space. Now I can divide by 10 to get rid of my coefficient and get a final answer with x on the left and negative two on the right. I did just divide by a number, but what I divided by was a positive number, so I'm gonna keep the inequality symbol the same. This gives me a final answer of x is less than or equal to negative two, but I still need to write this in interval notation. So knowing that the answer includes numbers less than negative two, I know that would include all the numbers forever and ever smaller than negative two. I'll show that with a negative infinity symbol. And since the concept of infinity isn't an exact stopping point included in the solution, I have to put a parenthesis next to it. Then I also know that negative two is the biggest number that works as a solution. And since it's included, I can put a bracket next to it. There we go, this is our final answer. Let me show you Another way to solve this, involving adding 2x to both sides instead. This way you can compare methods to make your solving skills stronger or simply to check your work if this is the method that you used. I would still start off in this method by simplifying each side. On the left, I have to distribute. Even though we can't see any number in front of this parenthesis, we can imagine putting a one here to help see that what we need to distribute is negative one. Since I'm not doing anything with the negative six, I'm gonna bring that down right away. Then negative one times two x makes negative two x, and negative one times negative eight makes positive eight. Now I have two constant terms, so I can combine those. 
It's important to include the operation before the constant to see that I have negative six and positive eight. That makes positive two, and I'll bring down my minus two x. So fully simplified, the left side makes two minus two x. Next, I can move on to the right side of my inequality, where my distribution looks a little more straightforward. Negative three times six makes negative 18. And negative three times four x makes negative 12 x. I'm gonna be sure to write that same inequality symbol here so that is less than or equal to. Since I have variables on both sides of my inequality, I need to cancel one of those terms to bring them together. It doesn't matter whether I choose to cancel the negative two x on the left or the negative 12 x on the right because both will work. But in this method, I'm gonna cancel the negative two x. Since this is a negative 2x, I'm going to need to add 2x to both sides. Negative 2x plus 2x cancels, leaving just 2 on the left. On the right, negative 12x plus 2x makes negative 10x. And I'll have to bring down my negative 18 and my symbol in the middle. Now I have to add 18 to both sides, which gives me 20 on the left and x is getting closer to being isolated. I'm gonna bring my problem back up to the top of another column so that I have more space to work. Now I can divide by negative 10 to get rid of my coefficient and get a final answer with x on the right and negative two on the left. I did just divide by a negative number, so the inequality has to flip. This gives me a final answer of negative two is greater than or equal to x. But the original problem did tell me to show the solution in interval notation. It may help to flip both sides of the inequality so that x is on the left. So if we do this, we end up flipping it back again as if we never divided by a negative number. Then we can write this in interval notation, just like we did when I was going over the first solving method earlier in the video. All right, there we have it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.